there are two sides to my family. There's the Drittels, and there are the Drittles. I'm a Drittle. I'm a Drittel. First, I want to tell you what an honor it is to be able to have a great aunt. Great, 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 great. Oh, you're great. great. But she's, this is the woman that turned me on to really eating. She's the most wonderful woman. She is my grandfather's sister. Um, and... friends, and I could use a few more. <laughs> Seriously, my father one time said to me, he said, if you find a few good friends in your lifetime, you're lucky. I would say that Sue and I, Anita and Mike, and Steffi and Eric are very, very lucky. You are all A-listers, and we're honored to have you here tonight, and we really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your holiday and celebrate with us. While I'm, set, uh, while I'm handing out thank yous, before I forget, I want to say a uh, thank you to my beautiful bride of, and my best friend and partner for 35 years, Sue. So, uh, she's the best thing that ever happened to me. I love her. And I told you. We would get through this weekend, relax, and enjoy the moment. Next, I would like to uh, give a shout out to my mom, who I think is the most elegant lady in the room tonight. 
for all you women out there, for all you women out there. Sometime during the night, take a look at my mom and freeze frame that image because that's the way you want to look and that's the way you want to act when you get a little older. Yeah. Next. Next, I'd like to say, I'd like to say a few words about uh, my father, who's no longer with us. Uh, Stephanie was, Steffi was my, my father's first grandchild, and there wasn't anything in the world he wouldn't do for you. When she was eight years old, he bought her a TV for her bedroom, which Sue promptly confiscated, and that TV to this day sits in my mom's kitchen. When Stephanie was around 11, my father uh, promised her he'd buy her a red convertible when she turned 16. Well, my dad never made it till she was 16, but I bought her that red convertible in his absence. And I know, Stephanie, that Papa is here with us in spirit, and he is absolutely beaming tonight. Next, I'd like to talk to my daughter, and I'll let the rest of you listen in. Steffi, Steffi, the day you were born was one of the three best days of my life. My wedding, the day you were born, and the day Greg was born. You were born on a, a bright, sunny day in May, not unlike we had today. You were a 19-inch bundle of joy. And while you may have only grown 42 inches over 20 years, <laughs> you have grown 10 feet as a person and a young woman, and I might add, you make a beautiful bride, and I am a very proud father of the bride. <laughs> Let me get my thoughts in now. Steffi, you are bright, you are vivacious, you are sensitive, you are kind, you are caring, and you are compassionate. And it's those last three characteristics that I most admire in you. You have always been kind and caring and compassionate to those less fortunate than you, to those younger than you, to those older than you, and to your peers. And I know one thing, if someone is lucky enough to have you as a friend, they get a friend for life who will be there for them unconditionally in the good times and the not so good times. And that is the true mark of friendship. Steffi, as parents, we strive to give our kids wings and, so to speak, teach them to fly. When you graduated and went off to New York, you were using your wings. When Greg went off to L.A., he was using his wings. And while it was sad when you left, and we miss both of you dearly, Mom and I take comfort in knowing that we've done our job because we've given you the foundation and strength to live on your own away from our nest. And now your nest is with Eric. And that's a good thing. No, that's a great thing. Because the two of you go together. <laughs>